Hi guys, I know it's been a minute since we have done a camper kitchen cook. And since we have a oven, we're gonna use it. Usually I try to show you how to make little simple meals with um, uh, with our deep fryer, not deep fryer, air fryer, with our uh, Instapot and all that stuff. But today we are gonna still use those things. We're just gonna use our oven because we're gonna bake something. So we're gonna make a macaroni and cheese surprise. All right, so let's get started with this video because I'm super excited. We got some prep work to do and I'm ready to eat, so let's go. Okay, right now we're gonna get out our rice cooker and as you guys seen in my other previous videos, I use that for my noodles. And so it does take a little bit of a minute, but we have time. So we're gonna go ahead on and get this started. We're gonna get our noodles out of the pantry and get it into the pot and have that cooking. And then I'm gonna introduce to you our ingredients. So let's get that started. Okay, now that we have our pasta noodles on and they are starting to cook, we don't have to worry about that anymore. We're gonna move into our ingredients and do some of our prep work and get started to put our ingredients together because we are having a pasta surprise. So let's get started cutting this stuff up. Okay guys, now I am cutting up my green onions. I like to get these from Aldi's. They're about 85 cents for a pack. And I just go ahead and only cut up the whole pack and wash them and get them fresh. So next time I wanna make a dish, guess what? It's already done. And it's pretty much a symbol. A lot of the stuff that I make in the camper kitchen is a symbol. So I got these wonderful containers from Dollar Tree. And guys, don't sleep on Dollar Tree. They have some great stuff if you live in a camper. With this particular one, it puts me in the mindset of strawberry crates, but it clamps and it has a clamp on both sides. So I don't have to worry about when we travel, uh, my stuff falling out as soon as we open the fridge or the substance inside falling out. So I'm really grateful for that as well. So we're gonna get these green onions cut up, get the cilantro cut up, get it both washed, and and ready for the next step in our assembly. Okay, I got I found this um, organic non-dairy butter that I kind of really like. I bought one one particular time at Walmart, but I got this one from Target. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this butter to our our fish and we're gonna base it just like you would do crab meat or lobster stuff like that we're gonna base it just in that same mindset so you're gonna take the butter go ahead on and get a good little amount so we're gonna melt it we're gonna put some of the Old Bay seasoning into the butter and really give it a good base and melt that and make sure that it has that taste we are looking for because we're looking for like a seafood taste and we don't want a, a fishy taste. So a lot of Obey seasoning to your liking would be a good um, thing to add to the bowl here. We have some other seasonings like paprika. We're gonna put a little chili powder in it for a little bit of a kick. And we'll add these things more than one time. So right now we're just adding it to the base for our sauce. And then we'll get that in the microwave. Now we're gonna go ahead on and toss this around. Make sure we get a good mixture of turning it around that is really sauteing and getting in there and just really settling into it so that way with every bite you will taste the seasonings okay guys i found these two pans these two uh loaf bread pans at dollar tree they were just a dollar 25 they're really good pans i'm going to make two of our mac and cheese um, surprise so i want to have some for today and some for tomorrow and like anything that you get from the store you want to make sure that you get these cleaned up and nice and ready to go so let's go ahead on and get our mac and cheese in the pan Okay, now guys, we're gonna do our cleaning of our two pans. We wanna get them washed up. We just bought them, so we wanna make sure that they are clean and let them dry over here until we are ready to put our uh, mac and cheese uh, together into the pans. Now she's so just gonna go ahead on and dry these off, let them sit here, and then we'll come back and get them in a second. Now, in this bowl, everything will be assembled. So we're gonna go ahead on and start putting our pasta and stuff together. We're gonna to get a little bit of our cilantro and a little bit of our green peppers. 
I like to kind of cut up my green peppers a little bit more fine just to make sure that the taste is not overwhelming. We want to be able to taste it, but not it be the only taste, like an onion taste. So we're going to cut this up a little bit finer, and then we're going to get our cilantro and get it dumped in there. And I like to have a lot of the cilantro-type flavor inside of the food. So let's go ahead on and get this stuff done, get this assembly put together, and move on to the next steps. Hey guys, now it is time to get our cream cheese. I got the the less fat cream cheese, and I got this is from Aldi's as well. I like this one, and I didn't want to use um, the regular one because we use so much butter for our base. So we're just going to take this and cut it in half. We're going to let it sit out because we want it to be extremely soft. So when we're ready to stir it into the mac and cheese, it will be. It, it will be a smooth stir and we can get it all crumpled up and ready to go and mixed in very well. We're gonna take our mild cut, our thick cut cheese, our Kobe Jack, we're gonna add those two to the sauce along with some eggs and get everything all assembled and ready to go. Okay, now that we have it in here, get a few things out of the view, we're just going to stir it up. We want to get all of our ingredients mixed in here and looking good. I take, like we said, the one egg, kind of help pull it all together. I'm going to take our cream cheese put it in there. Mm, delicious. And our sour, no, no sour cream. I think that'll be overkill. So we'll take our cream cheese, mix it up. Get that moving in there. We'll put the other egg in there once we get this all stirring around. We want to evenly distribute it throughout the sour cream and the egg. Go. It smells phenomenal. This would also be good with salmon. I think I'm gonna try it with a different fish and do it with salmon too. So let's try our other egg. And now we're gonna add our seasoning. So we're gonna use a little basil, a little, I thought some chives would be good. Not very many. No, no pepper. So some more little old bay seasoning. And a tad bit of chili powder. Alright, let's get stirred. We'll all this stirred in. Okay, this is our mix all mixed in. We're getting ready to add our cheese and then get them into our pans and into the oven. So so excited how it's gonna turn out. Okay, now we're gonna take our mac and cheese and start putting it in our pans. Use a bigger spoon. So take it, line our pans with it. Make it such a mess, I can't wait to see this finished and baked.
two in this meal is our little garlic knots. We're gonna take these, put them in our air fryer, and get those going right now. Now we have our goat crumble, uh, tomato blade, uh, basil cheese for our organic spinach and baby arugula salad. We got it on the plate. And we got our tomatoes, which we're gonna top off with a poppy seed for one and a sweet Vidalia for the other. So uh, get these on the plate. The next picture you guys are gonna see is a finished beautiful mac and cheese surprise arugula salad garlic knot plate. Now it's time to take it out of the oven. So excited. Oh my goodness, you guys. These look so delicious. There's one. Uh-oh. And here is two. So I'll let it stand for about 15 minutes. And it's done. Let's take a look at this bad boy in the inside. How delicious is that? Okay, you guys, here's the finished plate of camper cooking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll come up with some more recipes and get them out to you. Thank you so much for watching.